concept we initially had was in January 2009, and it was for a Google Earth of the human body. Rather than starting building the entire human body as a searchable product or software, we thought we'd start off with the human heart. So the, the stages of development there were concept moving concept onto an actual storyboard brief. The next stage was really research. So we noticed that we're, there were quite a number of competing solutions out there. We engaged with the local university in National University of Ireland, Galway, with six to eight medical students. And we observed how they were using some of these resources for learning. We didn't go near computers at this stage. We literally sketched out paper prototypes, presented it to some of the user groups in the medical students, and fine-tuned a lot of the ideas before ever going to computers. The development of the software on smartphone devices was really aimed at students or indeed any users that were interested in accessing bite size or small content in an informal capacity. So whether they were on a train or waiting in a queue for a coffee or you know, any of those sort of informal uh, learning scenarios, this is where we felt our software was coming in as a supplement to the textbooks, to the tutorials and face-to-face -face teaching and learning in schools. We have users uh, from medical students right through to surgeons using the software. Surgeons not obviously using it from an educational perspective, but as a communication tool to patients and their families. So they, at, currently we have users um, downloading and using the software in, about, in 18 countries. So from materials point of view, we had a wide range of software. We used in the Adobe suite, we would have used Adobe Photoshop, Adobe After Effects. Um, in the 3D space, we would have used Cinema 4D, created by Maxon. Um, we've also used um, an interesting 3D engine for the heart product called Unity 3D. Fantastic uh, software engine for developing 3D related software for both for web and for smartphone. We would have uh, developed Pocket Heart with a core team of four people and when we moved on to expanding the idea from one single organ in the human body to a full body product, we realised that we needed more than our core team. So we expanded from four to twelve quite quickly over a four or five month period. The main cost would have been time associated with all of those people. Uh, in that team the skill set would range from project management pedagogic expertise, instructional design, mm -hmm. programming skills in the areas of Java, C++, C Sharp, front-end design skills in terms of user interface design, 3D animation skills. That, that would have been our core skills in-house in our company. We're very interested in what the software doesn't have. A, a pilot group of over 300 individuals who are, if you like, friends of Pocket Anatomy who are helping us and engaging with us through Twitter, through Facebook, through um, even from within the app, letting us know what they would like to see in future versions of the app. So we're, we're measuring based on feedback as opposed to tracking usage of the app. Bringing the product from concept through each of the stages of development to marketing to finally releasing it on the marketplace the major challenge for us as a small company in Europe is to tell the world about it. We've moved from the pocket heart to the full body musculoskeletal software and we're hoping to expand that both in terms of localising the current software to different languages, also expanding it to different platforms. So at the moment it's on the iPhone, iPod Touch and iPad and we're hoping to move it on to Android and Windows 7. If people are thinking uh, of applying to the Media Awards, I'd say apply, absolutely. Uh, apart from the awards, even attending, I've been able to gain great feedback from different people who I've shown the software to. As well as that, you hear stories and you look at developments that are happening in other European countries and worldwide. So, yeah, I think it's um, a very rewarding and uh, very fruitful event.